it won't be five or ten years, it'll probably be the next day after the bill passes, you'll see a huge amount of the market go to Singapore or someplace else in the world because this is a very fluid world economy and you can do these instruments just about anywhere. Now, you don't have to have a structure that is onerous in order to make it safe. Uh, basically, what you're aiming at here, and AIG is an excellent example to use. AIG was a total disaster. But you can correct the AIG situation through better transparency, better reporting of what actually is being marketed as derivatives, and making sure that there is capital, or what's better called liquidity and margin behind it. So that when somebody is, issues one of these insurance policies, which yep. is essentially what a derivative is in most instances, there's something behind the insurance policy. So, so, so here's the question. If the insurance is called on, there's actually not, there's actually value yeah. there to pay it out. That, that was uh, the problem with AIG. It, but essentially that's what you want the so, system, so, how you want the system to work. AIG and transparency uh, means let me interrupt that if these markets are made in derivatives, they'd be reported. Reported in a in a real-time basis to the regulators. Yeah, so the regulators Senator, hang on a second. Well, hold on a second. Hang and on say, a second. okay, there's too much activity occurring Can in this Senator, hear me? I'm, I'm, I think you're not able to hear me. Because they can't handle that, that volume. Therefore, we're going to step in and we're going to slow that activity down and we're going to force the force more margin, more liquidity, more capital into the market. Okay, Senator, I, got, I, I want to ask you this a question. This can all be done. It should be done. Uh, there are a lot of good proposals for how to do it, and hopefully we can do it in a bipartisan way. Okay, can you hear me, Senator? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Uh, 